The wreckage should be just on the other side. I can't see anything. You sure you're in the right spot? I never forget a face. Once again, we find ourselves on a mountain without climbing gear. And I doubt any of that snow and ice is stable. You should keep moving before it breaks on you. I have done this before, you know. Something like that. Look, now that's proper gear for getting to the top of a mountain. That's one of Rutland's. I told him to mind his own business, and here he is following me to the ends of the earth. Maybe he heard you wrong. You think he's in there? Look out! Oh. Okay. Be careful. You know this thing could go over the- Oh! Hold up! You walk in there without weighing down this end, you'll go right over the edge. Good advice, Sip. You do look after me. You and Winston. He signs the checks. Is that it? Yes. It is. This must be where Santa's evil brother lives. Bloody hell. It's too bleeding chancy, Lara. I'll be fine. Good grief. I can't look anymore. You always say that, but you keep on looking. Rotten's men.
looking to make it across. And you'll end up a popsicle if you try to swim it. Hmm. If only I could walk on water. Not to rub it in, but I'm glad I'm at home. Lovely zip. I think these weren't here last time I came. <laughs> That's strange. These doors weren't closed before. I suppose I'll have to work out how to get them open again. Every object here has a symbolic function, if only the outside world were the same. Oh, bother! Well, one thing at a time. I suppose it's time to work out how to leave this monastery. How about swinging Excalibur once? Just for fun. It's a priceless artifact, not a toy. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. And now we know how young Arthur became king. 